All right, everyone, welcome back. We are making another special video here today to go over a couple of interesting situations. And for those of you out there looking for a cobbler who is willing to fix your boots, I was able to get a hold of this uh, person um, that uh, apparently is supposed to be a really good cobbler for hiking boots and uh, generally speaking um, outdoorsy kind of stuff. Uh, his name is Dave Page and you can look him up uh, at DavePageCobbler.com under there is a few things that uh, you should read through their website so that you can understand exactly what kind of work they're doing and what you need to do in order to submit your uh, boots that uh, you would like to get uh, resold or fix. Uh, today's video, we're bringing you a black made in Romania L.L. Bean Cresta boot. This boot averages about $300 on LLBeam.com. It is also sad to say, but uh, they no longer offer it. I believe the only one that you can get is the brown leather. Um, this boot is obviously a little more of a good looking when it's black and it does have the waterproofness membrane which is um, through the Gore-Tex brand and it came out of the manufacturer with a Bibram sole. This boot just as any other Cresta boot is uh, made in Romania and is apparently manufactured by hand and by experts in the field of hiking boots and things like that. I believe that a lot of the manufacturing moved from Italy and it went to Romania where some of the biggest brands of hiking boots that uh, are available in the United States and Europe are made. Um, I'm not sure if it has to do with the labor cost or whatever, but it appears to me that as far as the quality is, they are pretty damn tough. Um, I've had multiple pairs of the brown version. I also had their 30th anniversary, which are both manufactured in Romania. I've never had any issues with water getting inside my foot or, um, you know, when, when you're just disappointed with how your boot has uh, functioned. Um, again, these are retail about $300 on LLBean.com and they only have available the brown ones, not the black ones. The, uh, one of the issues that I came across this boot was that the sole has uh, unfortunately detached. However, it does look like it's been a clear detachment. And so what we are doing today is we are going to be sending this boot to Dave Cobbler. Again, you can look him up at his website. I'm not being sponsored by Dave. I'm not being paid for any of this review. This is just my personal review of this boot. Um, and the issue that I just uh, had with it, which is the sole came off. I'm not sure how or the reasons why, but because I really love this boot, I am going to invest money into fixing it. And just to run a couple parts on the details, guys, um, it sounds like you have to send the boot all the way to Seattle, Washington, where they will basically intake them and resold them. I was able to get the estimate, and just so everybody understands, you are required to send a work request form if you're sending from out of uh, Seattle area. If 
you're anywhere else in the United States and you're looking for a cobbler that uh, basically works from mailing orders, daypagecobbler.com is uh, one of the options that's available out here in the western area of the United States. Uh, Dave Cobbler has been pretty communicative with me and um, I have had uh, a few questions which he really answered. A hundred and twenty five dollars for the pair to resole and complete rebottom. What does that mean? We don't know. The one aspect that I did ask him was regarding the sole and he told me that this particular sole that LL Bean used for their Cresta boot is no longer available. So what we agree on was that he actually has the Bibram 1375 Vifida which is another version of these kind of sole, but I think it'll it'll have a little more of the cleats type of uh, st uh, stronger and more robust kind of look. I do need uh, a robust sole because I do a lot of extensive hikes in wet grasses, rocks, and water. And uh, for me, I am definitely looking to have a sole that's going to last me for a long time. But um, again, this review is just to show exactly how the boots are from LL Bean and how we are going to have it basically re bottom with a new sole because this one unfortunately came off, as you can see. And since I I do not have the original receipt from LL Bean when I purchased this a couple years ago. I am not able to benefit from uh, any of their warranties. Um, if LL Bean would like to help me out and maybe have me submit this boot without a receipt, I'll be more than happy to. But at this point, we are investing $125 into sending it to Dave's, Dave's Cobbler in Washington and have him put a brand new sole so that I can uh, continue my adventures uh, in this boot. Again, um, 125 for a complete re-bottom and it's, uh, you have to pay the shipping to their store and the shipping back to you. So eventually you end up paying about $150 for basically the whole thing and we're going to be sending these boots over to the cobbler in washington and we will be doing another video once we get the new uh resoling product to give it a little bit of a review but as far as we can tell these soles are not very wasted yet um however uh, Dave Cobbler did mention to me that it would be a lot more difficult to reinstall these old soles uh, instead of putting a brand new one. I, I think that uh, it's more of a physical effort as I believe you might have to probably sand down the old sole in order for it to attach to the boot. But I'm not a cobbler so I have no idea. I just go with the expert who advised me that it's best to just replace uh, with a new sole. Um, again, it's gonna uh, be about $15 for them to return your boot and you have to pay for the shipping to their store, which uh, for me is gonna be about $15, I would say. And after that, uh, the total cost of the job for the resoling is $125, which will come out to basically being about $150, uh, which is short off or 50% off um, from buying a brand new pair, which is $300 plus tax on LLBean.com. And you cannot longer get the black version. They are unfortunately do not make it anymore, um, but you do, uh, you're able to get the brown leather, but I feel like these ones are a little more better looking than the brown leather and uh, they are Gore-Tex and they are waterproof. Um, anyways, all right, we'll keep you posted when we get them back. They say about two to three weeks uh, based on the holidays. And so uh, we'll be making another video with, a, with the update.